Uh, if you can, provide an update for us on your lineup tonight. Yeah, we, uh, I, like I told you yesterday, we got some guys that are banged up. Um, no major issues, but some guys that it, that uh, would be good for them to uh, uh, take a night off. So I'll take Burrow out uh, tonight, uh, not because of his play at all. He's just been such a warrior, and it's it's a few nagging things that it, that uh, uh, would benefit from a day off. And a back-to-back, -back, I mean, again, yesterday was a tough one for him. Got into a scrap again and, uh, you know, hit so many times and everything has got an, a, another contusion somewhere else. And all. So he had that before. That's, that's why yesterday morning we were checking on some guys and he was one of them. And I think he deserves to have uh, a little moment off there. So uh, it's not a healthy scratch. It's, it's more of a just try to take care of something now. Uh, rather than later, and he'll be fine for Saturday. Uh, we'll put Kondo in, uh, so Clayson will stay in. Uh, we'll go uh, 12 with uh, Dito in. He's going to make his debut tonight. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's going to make his debut. Uh, and uh, Turris uh, yesterday, you know, I, I wasn't uh, very specific on it. So there's no broken finger. There's none of that. It's just something right now that uh, needs a bit more time. And we're very hopeful for well, very hopeful. We're hopeful for Saturday. Very hopeful for Tuesday. How's that? Okay. What? I mean, expectations. Uh, I mean, they're high, low. What do you expect from tonight? Oh, uh, you know what? I just uh, for him, it's going to be his first NHL game. He's going to be nervous. Uh, you know, not, don't try to do too much. He's got great hockey sense. He'll know what to do with the puck. Uh, he just got to uh, make sure he knows where he's going uh, defensively, and he's like everybody else, paying the price, uh, like the others have been pr uh, paying uh, the price uh, defensively, and everything, everything will be fine. I mean, we're right now. I think he's just coming in and uh, making the simple plays will be uh, good enough for him today. I mean, I, I'm. I'm 100% sure of the plays he can make. Now, you know, when you're nervous, it's your first NHL game. Uh, I'm not expecting him to come out there and be a star. I think if you just contribute by uh, by playing a solid game and, and help us in the, in our identity, that'll be plenty. A 28-year-old making it's, it's not an everyday kind of story. It's no, it's not. And uh, the, the good thing about uh, Dido, he's 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 uh, he's been in pressure moments. You know, he's been with Team Canada. He's been with me at the, with the under 20 at the. Uh, Spangler Cop has won the Spangler twice, has won the under 20. Uh, you know, it's not like he's just coming out of nowhere. And uh, no, he was a high end prospect a, a few years ago, and he's built himself uh, back up. And, uh, you know, he played in a uh, professional league in, in, uh, in Europe, which is, I'd say, between the American League and the NHL in terms of, uh, definitely in terms of speed. Uh, so uh, for pace and all that, I don't think it's going to be, and, and size of the players, and he'll be fine with that. It's just uh, like all the new players getting used to how we play and uh, making sure he's in the right places um, so I mean it's I mean it can't be more positive than that for for somebody uh, it's probably uh, I'm sure a dream and uh, hopefully it's uh, it's a positive one tonight and we can win it for him yesterday you had him with Zach Smith on your morning skate uh, lines is it important for you to try and maybe for lack of a better term insulate him a little bit with some veteran presence on the ice uh, yeah but at the same time I think uh, when, when I look at uh, our lines we've used kind of those lines a bit the last games uh, Terry was there that, that was different but uh, put Smitty at center he was taking faceoffs anyways when, when Terry was there um, and you know that that uh, Kelly line is doing so well I don't want to touch it right now um, and I mean, Stone's line's getting all the scoring chances we need, and um, you know, and our other line is, uh, has been terrific. I think with Pyatt and Pager and and Hoff. So I think uh, right now uh, I'll probably start him with, again with Smith and Zinger, and then we'll see where he fits. I mean, with penalties and pen and power plays and all that, um, you know, the lines have to change for some moments of the game uh, because of uh, special teams. Uh, so then I compensate by plugging some guys here and there. So he'll he'll get to play with different guys but right now I think on the board he'll be with Smitty and uh, and Zinger. You weren't overly happy after the game last night um, upon second blush sometimes you need those 12 hours or so to digest um, any further thoughts to what you saw last night? Uh, you know I wasn't mad uh, just uh, I, didn't, I just didn't think it was our uh, it was far from being a, one of our best games I think 
Uh, we're on the road, obviously. Most of the games are not the, your prettiest. Uh, but I think we've done a lot better on the road in, in, in some games. And especially when you look at the previous games that we just played, they were so solid. Uh, we were so good with the puck, managing it in, in tight areas on, on uh, breakouts and the both blue lines we respected really well. And I thought the first 10 minutes, uh, it, it was more about them surging. You could see, you know, the, kind of their last hope. Uh, games where they're trying to catch up and make those playoffs and they had won five of their last seven uh, including a big one in Washington's and they have a high-end offense we know that you know they weren't supposed to be where they are right now so uh, I'm not surprised they were surging in the first 10 minutes but we were a little tentative and then we kind of got going in the last 10 minutes of the first period we were great so I was expecting you know come come the second period that we, that we would follow up on that and we did not we kind of played played with a Play with a lead with uh, less urgency than we had lately. Um, I don't know if it's disrespecting the opponent or I don't know what it, it was, but I don't think we were as sharp and as hard as we normally are. Uh, we gave stuff that we don't normally give, and, and in the end, I think our power plays did really good. Uh, so that was very positive, and we scored goals, and we were outstanding at screening in front of the goaltender again. Mm -hmm. So all five goals uh, are from uh, our guy screening in front of the goaltender real well. So that identity is growing every day, uh, obviously, like I said, because of the new guys we got, they've got that. That's why we want to inject those guys. Uh, but I think the guys that were here before are also getting better at it. Uh, because they want to get better at it before, but also I think because of those new guys inspiring that type of identity. So I think we're growing in that. So there are good positive things in that in that game. Our goalie was certainly a positive uh, influence on us all. But was it one of our top games? Absolutely not. And we can be better. Uh, having said that, this today is going to be a very very difficult game to manage today. I mean, it's these guys have done well against good teams, and uh, we can't look at where they are in the standings. But well, they're really fast, they're free flowing because they've got a lot of young guys. They're not making playoffs, so there's no pressure there. So teams play differently, uh, and we know we're probably going to have energy for half the game, and the other half we're going to have to manage uh, the little energy that's going to be left. Uh, so we got to find a way today. And this is life for. Uh a backup goalie too, right? He's put in tough situations sometimes like this? Yes, absolutely. But the good thing about our, our goaltender, uh, Kondo, he's lived all the tight situations since he's been there. So uh, whether it's that one and another one before, I think he's, uh, he's shown that he can manage that. Uh, I'm sure he wants to bounce back from his last game too, and we all know that he's a bounce back goaltender with great character. So I think we're all uh, we're all excited about him uh, getting a chance to, uh, to show what he's was showing us all year. Il n'y a pas une très bonne fiche contre les Coyotes, c'est juste que vous regardez beaucoup ou c'est juste question de jouer le prochain non, match? Non, prochain match, prochain match. C'est sûr que quand on sait que quelqu'un a une super fiche contre une équipe, on essaye, ça c'est sûr qu'on essaye, mais ça ne fonctionne pas tout le temps. Ça dépend des matchs avant puis après, mais on sait très bien que Anderson a une très bonne fiche contre Floride. Bon, bon, on ne fait pas exprès pour ne pas le mettre contre la Floride, ça c'est sûr. Mais quand tu as un, une mauvaise fiche, Il se dépend tellement des circonstances que, regarde, je pense qu'on regarde pas ça. En général, te, te voyager ici, c'est gérer un peu la, la, le repos, puis... Euh... Oui, oui, on, on est là encore, parce que, regarde, tu vois, on a des gars qui sont, euh, sans dire blessés, sont maganés, puis euh, plus ça va, regarde, on pratique en plus, là, ça, on a 20 minutes le matin, là, le morning skate, juste pour dire qu'on a un petit peu de synchronisme, puis euh, c'est pas juste une question d'énergie, juste une question d'enthousiasme. Quand tu perds ton énergie, tu n'as plus d'enthousiasme. Quand tu n'as plus d'enthousiasme, tu n'as plus de club. Fait que nous autres, c'est bien important. En ce moment, on a de l'enthousiasme. Les joueurs sont positifs. C'est pas juste les résultats, c'est comment commencer dans le champ, commencer sur le, sur le banc. Tu vois qu'il y a une confiance, tu vois que les gars sont, ils ont la tête claire et libre. Puis on veut garder ça parce que la minute que tu perds ça, tu commences à, à faire des choses que tu faisais pas avant. Puis là, tu commences à avoir une spirale descendante qu'on veut, qu veut éviter. Oui, oui, oui ben je pense que ce que ça fait, c'est que ça donne, ça donne un, un petit extra pour les joueurs. C quand la saison est longue comme ça, là, là ce qui est le fun, c'est qu'on a eu des nouveaux joueurs. Tu sais, Burroughs, il y a Stahlberg, Scott, tout le monde est tellement content. Clayson vient, tout le monde crie sur le banc. Euh, tu vois que les joueurs ont, ont beaucoup de... Euh, les relations entre les joueurs commencent vraiment à être très, très bien tissées. C'est vraiment là, on a un groupe qui, euh, qui se tient ensemble, on a un groupe qui... qui qui pense aux, aux, aux bonnes choses, qui veut les bonnes choses pour l'équipe. Il euh, n'y a pas de gars selfish en ce moment. C'est très, très... Euh, C'est vraiment pas égoïste. Là. On a une équipe euh, qui regarde les, 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 vraiment ce que l'équipe a besoin, puis tout le monde est sur la même page.